So what is going on guys? In this video, um, currently sitting in Mexico, we are on a carrier trip that we won based off production of selling life insurance. And I wanna share with you in this video, answer a question that's super common. Do life insurance agents actually make money selling life insurance? If you're a life insurance agent, or wanting to become a life insurance agent or looking to get in life insurance, this video is going to help you understand the truths and the realities of what it's like being a life insurance agent. If you do not know who I am, my name is Peter Roberts. I've been a life insurance agent for almost you know, 18 months now. My first year I sold six figures over $500,000 worth of final expense on my own pen. Um, and then in the last six months, I've sold over $200,000 producing half the time and now building an agency that is doing multiple six figures uh, per month as a team. And I wanna share with you what it's actually like. I'm tired of the BS, I'm tired of the fluff, and ultimately I wanna share with you a survey that I did about six months ago. Six months ago, I asked you know people who were joining my group, how much money are you making as a life insurance agent um, on average per month? And after interviewing over 790 people, the answer was this, ding, ding, ding. The average life insurance agent, agent only made around $3,100 per month as a life insurance agent. Now, this might be completely puzzling to you because what you see on the internet and what you see when people sell you the courses and what you see by other content creators that you might look up to is that everyone gets rich selling life insurance. Everyone makes $10,000. If you want to learn how to make $20,000 a month, use my funnel system is probably what you've bought into. And I did too, until I learned this, that the industry is harder than anybody will ever explain it to you. And the reason that most people don't make money in this industry come down to three things. Three things. Number one, they don't know how to sell because sales is hard. You've probably been recruited to sell life insurance. You've come in from maybe like a gas station or a barista, or you are in retail and you see an ad or you watch, click on LinkedIn, or you see someone who's selling life insurance who is making all this money and you wanna go ahead and trust them. You're this person who's like, man, I want my life to change that I'm tired of making $2,000 to $3,000 per month. I wanna make $20,000 like this person is saying on the internet or like this person saying on LinkedIn. Why can't that be me? So you sign up for life insurance and you're told just you know, follow the script, do this X, Y, and Z, and you're gonna make all this money. But you've never developed the skill of sales. And when you come into the environment of sales or you come into this company, you're not trained properly because you're herded like cattle. You're told to come in here and just do what everyone else is doing and you're gonna make all this money. But there's this underlying secret that is, that was in my heart when I was inside of these models that I could tell there was something wrong that most people are here praising and saying that they're making all this money, but they're not. They're selling. And here's why I knew, because I was the guy that actually learned how to sell. I came from a sales background where I was selling a ton and I got used to selling a ton. So I sold, you know, one time $80,000 worth of AP uh, in a month. And then the month before that I sold 50,000, a month before that 60,000. So I was selling, I was selling tons and tons of premium. But I was still like, dude, why am I not making a ton of money? Because I'll talk about the third reason here in a second is that just because you know how to sell doesn't mean you know how to make money. It's a whole different beast when it comes to selling life insurance. But ultimately, first skill that you need to have is learning how to sell life insurance at an extremely high level. The second is you need to go out there and learn how to find people. When you go into in the life insurance industry, you're gonna typically put be in a position where they're telling you to buy leads, right? They're gonna spend money to buy leads or go sell your friends and family or go do this system like everyone else is. But why, you know, why are they trusting new agents to now develop a new skill set of learning how to market? And at, at first, I didn't know how to market. I had no idea how to market. I spent money on courses, $8,000. I connected and buy more platforms to figure out how to market. And then I met my business partner who actually knew how to market. And thankfully, for him, from his skill set of learning how to market, combined with my ability to sell, I was able to explode and grow in the industry. But the reason that most second people, reason why people don't make money in the industry is because they don't know how to market. You just came on the life insurance industry because you want to sell, you want to make a ton of money, but now I have to figure out how to get leads. What the heck? How am I supposed to do that? Where do I start? I never even ran a business before. And that's what the life insurance industry is set up to do. Have you create a business? Have you to create all these different skills to eventually make all this money? But they don't tell you that. So now I got to learn how to sell. Now I got to figure out how the heck am I going to market? Do I get a TikTok? Do I get a YouTube? Do I get a Facebook? Do I get to my, you know, grandma's, you know, social security office? Where do I go? That's the second challenge. Now, the third why reason people, reason people don't make money selling life insurance is because they have to do this one thing called keep their customers for life, retention. So when I was telling you about earlier, guys, I sold $50,000 a month. That was a time in my business early on, four, four to five months in when I was doing that, I was like, where the heck is my money? Why is my bank account not growing at 50,000? Oh, well, have you heard of a thing called placement? 
What is that? Oh, have you heard about a thing called NSF return? What is that? Well, you have to now sell a product and learn how to retain your clients for eight to 12 to forever, a lifetime. And that's a whole different skill set. So you just don't sell life insurance, make us like a sale, and then you're good. You have to make sure that this client is a paying client for life, that they have to continue to make their premium payments for 12 months, or you will get pay, hit with a chargeback, and you could be screwed. So even though I was selling 50,000, or agents say they're selling $60,000 of AP, they'll place, if the business doesn't place, they owe a chargeback. If they cancel after one month because their persistency is low, you have to owe the money back on a chargeback. If you go out there and they die, you have to pay that money back. If you have to go out there and they they want to go ahead and, and lower their premiums, you will lose money. So the life insurance industry comes down to three things. Sales, learn how to sell people with the product they believe in. Secondly, how to market, how to find people who actually want your product. You have a great product. And then third, you got to keep them on the books. You can't keep them on the books. You can't make them make their first payment. You will lose money. And this is why these three different skill sets create the income why most agents make which is why agents will make less than $3,000 on average per month. They could be flexing. They could be showing off all their money. But what does their bank account actually say? And thankfully enough, I am grateful to say as an agent for my first year and into my second year as a life insurance agent, I've been able to earn profit six figures, pay taxes on six figures or more income each year because of these three things that I learned. And I just wanna share with you guys the raw and real truth of what it's like being an agent. It was hell, it was getting kicked in the face. It was getting the chargebacks, it was getting slammed on the phones, it was getting clients that were canceling and having no idea how I'm gonna make it alive. And the hardest business I've ever been in, yet I don't wanna phrase it as that, as an easy, you'll make money, you'll get rich. It is way harder than you will ever expect. And this is why 99% of life insurance agents don't make it don't succeed and ultimately go broke in this industry because it is glamorized, it is sexified, and ultimately you are the reason that other people get rich is because they wanna recruit you, they want you to fail, they want you to buy their marketing product, they want you to sell one or two policies, get stuck, not win, not know how to retain, and then they get stuck with their, the upline gets stuck with the book of business, and they win, you lose with your tail tucked between your, your legs, and you say life insurance sucks. And this is why life insurance has the reputation it does. I wanna fix that. I love you guys. I want to give you the raw and honest truth of what it's like being a life insurance agent so that you can provide for your family, that you can actually capitalize on this industry and that you can actually win because most people are going to come into an industry that they are lied to and they're going to say, dude, why the heck did I do this? Love you guys.